What is going on everybody? This is Dave from DGR with another Super Mario Odyssey Is It Possible Challenge. So the inspiration for today's challenge comes courtesy of Son of a Glitch episode 78 where A plus start was taking on Super Mario Odyssey glitches. At about the 11.50 mark within the video, a glitch is shown off using the Gushin while you're taking on the Seaside Kingdom boss. I want to know if this glitch is possible in the Mushroom Kingdom version of the boss battle. As always, let's find out if it's possible. Alright, so if you're not familiar with where the rematch of the Seaside Kingdom boss is, it's actually down in this area right here where there's the, the little pond with Dory. So you enter this pipe and this is where the boss battle is. Alright, so once you pop out of the pipe, you see the painting, go ahead and dive inside the painting and we can start up the challenge. Now for this one, I am going to use my headphones. I think audio cues are going to be important, so I'm going to pop in my headphones for this one. Alright, so what we do, um, if if this glitch can be replicated is we want to capture the gushin and then go after the boss like normal uh, we have to get him so where he's not moving at all uh, I don't think it's gonna work the first time here with the lava on his head we'll have to get the lava cleaned off his head and then give it a try after that so let's see what we can do here so he should drop down if everything's correctly so there we go um, so there we go we beat him we hit him once now he's gonna fly around uh, and we just want to chase him along now according to the glitch how this is going to work we need to jump out of the gushin and then recapture the gushin if done correctly we would just start to float forever into the sky and kind of soft lock the game so let's give it a shot and see what we can can do here okay so obviously I did it wrong um, I didn't recapture the gushin I think this is gonna be there's going to be a lot of fails with this one. I just got a feeling it's going to take a lot to get this glitch right. So let's just jump back in and keep at it. We did it! We freaking did it, boys! We freaking did it, boys! Yes! Let's go! Oh my gosh, it worked! It worked! Oh my gosh! I didn't expect it to work! Oh my goodness! Are you guys seeing this? I don't even see the fountain anymore! I don't even see the fountain anymore. What in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I, I I can't believe it worked. I can't believe it freaking worked. There you can see. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna... I'll tell you what, guys. We're just gonna let it ride here. See how high we can go. Like, we are soft locked though. I can't... I cannot do anything. Like, I'm pressing all the buttons can't do anything can't do anything but it's still so cool like you can still see the king octopus boss's head just very 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 small but it's still there right where the clouds are breaking there oh my gosh I can't believe this worked we're just gonna let this ride see how high we can go up here all right so it's been about three or four minutes now and it doesn't seem like we are getting any higher up than we already are it looks like we've hit a ceiling or something so I am excited to say that the gushin bouncing glitch still works in the mushroom kingdom version of this boss fight we have proven that it is possible 
All right, guys, so I think I have found the key to this glitch. The key is to recapture the Gushin as soon as it bounces on top of the boss's head. It's got to be right in a couple frame window. If you recapture it at the right time, the Gushin will automatically start bouncing and rising to the top of the ceiling in the level. All right, so this is not a particularly useful glitch. In fact, once you get this glitch down and are doing it, there's absolutely nothing you can press on the controller to stop the glitch from happening. You can press all the buttons on the controller. The only ones that will work are the home button and the capture button. Other than that, none of the other buttons do anything. You will have to reset your game in order to, you know, start playing again. That being said, it's still a really cool glitch to pull off. It took me about a half hour to kind of get the technique down, but once I did, I am really glad I stuck with it just to kind of see how this glitch works. If you guys have any questions about how to pull this glitch off on your own, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them, and thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care.